Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series Generation E60 61. This is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where your variable timing fuse is located. It could be actually multiple fuses, stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them, they are hidden, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience guys, make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have BMW 60, 61, that generation 5 series, we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay. Why? To save you time and money. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse blows out. What do you need to do? Okay, it takes forever to find where it's located. It's so complicated, you may have even multiple fuses. And all you have to do, come to our channel, search for it, and you'll be able to find that video, watch it. And in less than two minutes, you replace the fuses, you're back on the road. Something else guys, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos, we take them completely apart, we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything. Engines, transmissions, why we do that? Because our mission to shop is to save you money guys. We have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy parts, tools for your BMW or any car, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And if you need to buy cheap fuses, relays, anything for your BMW, links will be shared as well. So let's continue now. So the variable timing fuse, guys, where you can expect to find it, we'll demonstrate on the 2008 model BMW 5 Series. It will work for other years as well. You have three different fuse boxes. Most people know about two, but you have one that's hidden under the hood. Open the hood, come on the passenger side. This is the passenger side fender, windshield, shock tower. Right here you have one trim cover in front of the windshield. Remove it. You get to electrical fuse box on the underneath it. Open it and you will be shocked, guys. This is probably the most cables used so recently. You will have cables, wires, relays, modules, fuses here. But before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. Here now guys, what you will be looking for, it could be multiple fuses. Now some of some models like the V8s may have a row of connectors and fuses, individual fuses on the back like four or five and you need to check the second one from right to, to left. But most BMWs guys, 5 series, you'll be looking for that fuse block right here, that black, uh, okay fuse block, that fuse block is known as engine management fuse block. It could be sideways, it could be on the left side in the fuse box, on the right, towards the front, it, uh, it's different for different models, engines, BMW E60, 61. In that fuse block guys, okay, those are engine management fuses, open that cover, you have only 5 fuses, check each one of them guys. 
Okay, each one of them could be for the variable timing, uh, depending on the year, model and engine again. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.